Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3, and we are now here on the sixth assignment, which is gonna be Lugdunum. And this map is gonna be split to three videos because I'm doing three phases. So the first phase is gonna be establishing the first half of the city, the second phase is crossing the river, and the third phase is achieving some extra challenges like max level housing, and doing some interesting tricks which you probably didn't know you could do on this map. So let's go ahead and get this mission started. Caesar is traveling this month on a matter which need not concern you. I, the Emperor's Proconsul for Roma, shall explain your next assignment in his stead. Caesar decreed that the Empire shall now grow northward, beyond our traditional Alpine boundary. Create a medium-sized city in Gaul, and meet the more ambitious ratings that he has defined for you. You will not encounter any armed resistance, and won't need to build defensive works. However, a small tribe of natives already lives in your new province. These barbarians will not trouble you if you stay away from their village. Use the risks overlay to see the area they claim as their own. At some point, build a mission post on the natives' land. Your missionaries will teach them some rudiments of civilized conduct. Eventually, they might even trade with you. If you see carts moving between the native village and your city's warehouses, the natives have accepted your presence and you can safely build on their land. If you handle them properly, the natives will be no more than a minor nuisance to your city's growth. The rugged terrain is probably your true challenge. Some Roman philosophers believe that the very wildness of the northern lands explains why the people there have remained so primitive throughout the ages. The local Gauls will be awed when Lugdunum achieves the levels of culture, prosperity, and peace that Caesar expects. All right, welcome back to Caesar 3. We are here in Lugdunum, beyond the Alps, and as Tandis here says in chat, this guy really likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> and interestingly, also, this visual here, this is a design that's not actually in the game. So just interesting point here. This is probably what the native huts looked like before they were changed during development. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to, actually, no, it's 5,000 people, prosperity rating 50, 45, 65, 50, right, look at them. Everyone knows this map. Here we are in the city. Let's slow things down. And there are our native friends. Ah, uh, there they are. The first time we're seeing natives. First time we're seeing natives. And hello KTTY just subscribed in chat. Ponship, thank you so much. Hello Kitty, I assume it's pronounced that way. Hello Kitty, welcome to the stream. Now, Lugdunum is a difficult map because of how it's designed and its layout and everything. You see this really rugged terrain, let's just pause the game here, really rugged terrain, and mainly the big challenge is this large farmland here, this large farmland, it's so difficult to build around. Like this farmland over this side, if we put farms here, if we build just on the low ground, it's gonna be difficult getting the food so far. And also there's a bit of farmland here, but then rivers and we gotta cross, and then there's this big open nice place to build, furthest away from the farmland. So it's pretty tricky. So there's a few interesting tricks. So for example, this cliff here is only one tile thick. So technically you could actually have a market lady walking up here and it would actually be able to reach the houses down there. Mm. That could be something interesting we could play with. And also in this playthrough, I'm not trapping off wolves. So we're gonna play the proper way. And basically, we're just not gonna go over to this area right at the start. We're gonna start down here with this little bit of farmland, play it the way it's meant to be played. But also, there's another little trick here. You see this little, this little bit right here. This little bit right here, you can actually have one farm on the low ground. Look at that, look at that, that's something interesting. And also, let me just check exports on this map, primarily weapons, which we're gonna set that up right away. Uh, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and just prep that from the start. So a couple iron mines, and we're gonna have this road sort of come like that. And we're gonna break this road right here. And we're gonna have, uh, we don't need prefectures on this map. 
as long as we are not uh, have an engineer's post right there, and we'll have some houses right there. We don't need an, uh, any prefectures be because nothing burns down. Nothing burns down. So we're gonna get that started now. Because of this rugged terrain, we shouldn't have to do the uh, any tricks to get around the uh, the immigration glitch. But I'm still just gonna set up our first housing area. Not quite here. I'm gonna set it up like along this road, too few people working, not to worry. I'm gonna have this hook up here, I think. Yeah, a little shorter, so it's a little cheaper. So these bridges are a little expensive, and we're gonna just start with some farms right here. Let me just make sure this is correct. So there's gonna be a road there, and we're gonna have a low bridge right there. And this will connect up like this. And we very importantly do not want to have uh, any road connection to over there. So I'm gonna build something over here and also For this map because we're not repeating block designs. We're not repeating block designs from mission to mission this map I'm going to show off that block designs can be pretty much any shape the actual shape of the block does not matter So we're gonna make blocks, but they're gonna be all sorts of crazy shapes. So that's gonna be my block here Right, that's gonna be a block <laughs> And we're gonna get some houses down Let's get people moving in, shall we? We'll have that. We can just drop the reservoir right now. Uh, the reservoir back here, maybe. Maybe I'll put it here. I don't want to block that road. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll get these people moving on in. And I suppose for stability, I will go ahead and use a gatehouse right here. So we'll block that. We'll get rid of... Uh, we'll keep it sort of like that. We're also gonna need some houses on this side, so let's go ahead and... Nice bit of house there. And let's plan our farmland as people start to move in. Um, also, we probably need more houses than this. So let's... How do I want to do this? Just squeeze in a few more houses, I think. Try and get the population up. No, not there. I'm leaving a few, a bit of space here for oracles. Let's speed this up a bit. So this housing area here is going to be just to get us over our required population of 300. Okay, and they should be moving in. Yeah, here they come. And the iron mines are going as well. We'll just go ahead and give that house a well. We gotta get weapons production going as soon as possible. And also, we're gonna need a few things. Let's go put a warehouse right here. This is going to be accepting just wheat, right? Because we're gonna do the warehouse trick for transporting food. So we can transport food over to this area without a road connection through warehouses. Isn't that interesting? Now. Uh, if I put this here, we probably do need another house somewhere here. So I'll just put that there. And we'll plan the farm area. So we're gonna go... I think I need to clear off a little bit more. And I think I can clear a bit here as well. Let me just check how the farmland can be laid out. You can fit quite a few farms. Maybe not an amazing amount, but quite a bit. Okay. We'll just see how that goes, I think. Actually, no, we kind of need... If I squeeze this here, I could put it there. It might as well go... Actually, no, if I do here, then I could have the road hook through like that. And then another farm there. And just for stability, I'm gonna have another house right there. Okay, so this is 
the start of our farmland. So we've got there, one, two, three, one, two. It's a little tricky maximizing the farmland, but we'll see how this goes. If I put it there, we can't fit another one on that side. Ah, we'll slowly adjust that. Okay, here they come, they're moving on in. Let's get some fountains down. We're gonna need some fountains here and there. Will that actually reach if I put a fountain right there? We gotta get these houses evolved. More people are moving in, okay. And just to boost the population, I'm going to put down some rows of houses here. Just to get that going. And now people are moving in, let's go ahead and put down some workshops for weapons. And we'll go... One, two, three, four. And we're gonna need a bit of space for a warehouse right here. Right there. Okay, I'm doing this very, very slowly, very, very deliberately, because I want to get this right, and this map is tricky. Okay, weapons will start coming in now. We've got all of that going. Four units of iron, okay. Wolves wandering around, no problem. So we're just about to hit 200 people here which means immigration will stop. But looking at this, it looks like we do have enough people to to get through the immigration glitch. Should be okay, should be okay. There we go, 200 people. And also, let's do some priorities here. Uh, we're gonna do water services one, engineering two. Uh, and that just has to sort of, yeah, split up a bit. Okay, so people are going to start moving out. All these people are going to move in. Immigration will stop. Uh, what is that unhappiness going on? There's a bit of a riot there, but it's okay. There they go. They're moving out. No well maze on this map. We don't need... We don't need a well maze. Look, this, this is already a maze. This is already a gauntlet they have to go through. And uh, yeah, I think that should be okay. Oh, and by the way, the gods. Tandosia says gods. Yes, we <laughs> we have a new as Zach gods emote, which feel free to use. We're gonna need to put down temples before the gods get unhappy. So let's go ahead and get those down. Uh, yeah, we can just have some temples going around here. Neptune, Mercury, Mars. And Venus. We'll just put them down there. And we're out of money. Okay. And we got another 2,000. Perfect. That should allow some weapons to start coming in. Fantastic. More people moving in. We're at 244. Some people are moving out. Let's see if we can actually get past the immigration glitch on this. 290. Ah, oh, did we not quite make it? I think we didn't quite make it. Not to worry. We were just a little short because of the the range, it is quite far. So we're just gonna drop our population back down to 200, and then when they start moving in again, it should be fine. And just to make things even more, well, a bit more of a maze, there we go. That will slow them down a little bit. So the next time they come round, it should be fine. How's employment? Short by 43. We probably just put down too many farms, right? That should solve that problem. We don't need that many farms right from the start. Do we not have an engineering post here? We don't have an engineering post here. There's a gap there, right? Yeah. Taking a bit of damage, it's okay. So we're stockpiling wheat here, which we can transfer over to a granary later. 
But we have to wait for our population to drop first. Shot by 32, okay. So we will just cut back on some of these farms. Are weapons coming in yet? Not quite yet. In case you're wondering why people are moving out, between 200 and 300 population, uh, it does actually... Oh, that reminds me. Prioritize governance and religion. Um, between 200 and 300 people, people are on very hard difficulty. Uh, they just move out. They're just unhappy. Ah. <clears throat> I draw a line, says fun Zach's new computer. Then you can complain about gods. <laughs> yeah, in case you don't know, I'm currently trying to replace my computer. My computer is six years old and it's crashing non-stop. Okay. So since there's no military on this map, there really isn't any time limit. So we're just going to let these people move on out. There we go. We're now below 200, which means happiness will come back up. And we can open this trade route to start selling weapons. To sell all those weapons. And we probably need to prioritize industry and commerce here. Why is it... Ah, those, those production buildings really are... We need this working so we can actually put weapons in there and the traders can actually buy from it. There we go. Buy some weapons, thank you very much. Weapons are worth quite a lot. These guys are now going to stream on in and with this little bit of extra well maze, we should be able to hit 300 no problem. We had enough houses. It's just... Uh... Oh, so some of these are now evolved, so it's just a little tricky. Okay. So now, we just let them come on in. A building has collapsed. Did I not put an engineering post in here? Oh, that's not good. Tents do not... Oh, right. Tents don't... Small temple to Ceres, please. There we go. <laughs> ah. And I think there is a limit on how many people can move in... ...in one month. Right? There is a bit of a limit on that. If I just put down more houses... Oh no, there they go. And now we're at 200 again. This should be enough, let's speed it up. Really? Uh, 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 oh. We need to get our happiness up quickly, so let's just raise that and lower this. You see here, people are annoyed with you. 320. Oh, January. Yes, we timed it with January, which is when births happen. There we go. So now we wait for the happiness to return. There we go. We've crossed the 300 mark. Fantastic. Now we can get things going. City is shot by three employees. That's fine. We're selling weapons. More people are going to move on in here. Do we need another weapons workshop? I think we do. How many weapons can we sell a year? 15? Not that much. Five, five workshops should be able to produce three each. Are these just short on people, or...? So we should be able to deprioritize that while maintaining this working, yep. Ah, look at that. Money's streaming on in. Ah, fantastic. Food has sort of stockpiled up here. And I think I'm gonna... How do I want to do this? More people moving in. I think a granary here will be fine. But I'm gonna have to move those two houses. Shift this road over one. Do that. Put a granary right here. And then I'll set this to getting wheat. So some food can be dumped into here. If the warehouse ever fills up, it'll be dumped into here. So we can start feeding these people. Looks good, looks good. We're over 400 people now. What's employment like? Shot by 15%? There we go. Now we can get things going. If I put a farm... It doesn't really matter, does it? I suppose if I do this... I mean, we might be able to fit something there. Okay, there we go. So food is 
starting to come into this side. We can see this granary will get from that warehouse and any surplus will overflow as well. Uh, that will allow this area to be fed and now we can start doing a few tricks. What I want to do is have a pig farm on the low ground here. Have a road coming out of there. Have some houses. Maybe not right next to the pig farm, right? Have some houses and an engineer's post. And a warehouse to store any surplus meat. That way, not fruit. If there's a request for any meat or wheat, we'll be able to fulfill it. There we go. Ah, fantastic, fantastic. Remove the kink in the farms. Yeah, but I'm thinking if I shifted over one, would I be able to fit one more farm here? Probably not, right? I don't think it matters. We can have nine farms like this. Yeah, I don't think it matters. So I'm just gonna do this, do this. So at least it'll look good, right? Let's go to that, let's go to that. We'll turn that. All right, disease, I forgot about disease. <laughs> uh, this area here probably needs a doctor. There we go. This area, burnt down. I guess I'll temporarily put a doctor here as well. And these farms will now just line up like that. Then we could have a total of nine farms, I think. Yes. One, two, three. This road will come around like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right there. Okay, that's our farmland for this area. This is the most amount of food we can produce here. I think if I didn't have a road going all the way through, we could fit 10, but we do eventually need a road coming through. Ah, return wages, yes. I always forget that. I always forget that. <laughs> ah. Thank you so much for reminding me. Okay. So now... With short by 10 employees, we can start feeding these people. I actually don't want these houses here. I'm not sure if I want these houses here. Probably not. But yeah, we'll start feeding people first. There seems to be enough food here. I need to destroy most of those. Actually, do I need to destroy these houses? Um, I don't know. We'll see. But over on this side, this is where I now want to set up a proper residential area. And like I said, there's no real fixed design that we should be doing, right? So what I can do is something a bit more interesting looking. 500 people. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I sh should I shorten this by one? Yeah, I should probably shorten this by one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just gonna do like an X-shaped block, because why not? Is that correct? That is not correct. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. How is this? Oh, this is one shot, is it? There we go. Thought something looked wrong. So that is gonna be a block we're gonna do. 
Do I want it here or do I want to shift it over a bit? I might want to shift it over. Money is not really an issue, by the way. I think I'm going to shift it over by one. Right, so it should go like this. Yeah. I just want to get this perfect, so don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> and drawing it a second time should be easier. One, two, three, four. This comes down like that, like that. There we go. So this is going to be a housing block. Right? So let's get some people moving in. We're just gonna scatter a couple of houses here. And we can have like a gatehouse just coming out this side. Get rid of that. Have a road come out like this. One, two, three. Do like that. And most importantly, it does not connect to anything. We'll just have a couple houses. Got some houses there. And some houses there. Okay, so this is gonna be a housing block which we're gonna shift some of this food over to this side. Unemployment, huh? Probably be better if I... yeah. There we go. Total of nine farms. We're going to need an engineer's post there. We're going to be breaking up some of these houses soon. Yeah, so I actually do not want these houses. We'll get rid of that. We're actually feeding these people. No entertainment. So we'll slowly give them entertainment. Actor colony. The empire's maps have changed. Check your empire map. Okay. Uh, this is going to go right there. And we now have a new trade route, which sells vines, oil, and they buy marble and pottery. Okay. Can we produce marble and pottery? We can totally produce marble and pottery. Uh, geez, this house. When did this house get sick and burn down? <laughs> I did not notice that. I did not notice that. Uh... Good thing employment maintained a little bit. There we go. How's this moving on in? Employees needed. That's good. Shot by seven. It's January now, and we just sold seven weapons. So yeah, we're, we're producing plenty of weapons for export. So these houses are now moving in. We should get some engineers post down. Another one right there to cover this road. And once these houses move in, there we go. We can now have... How many do we need? Six warehouses? Probably six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And all six of these warehouses are going to be set to getting wheat. Look at this. This this is a trick that I had no idea we could do back in my first playthrough. There we go. This is a little tedious because there's no not accepting button to set everything to not accepting. There we go. Six warehouses set to getting wheat, and they're going to start sending out these cart pushes to get wheat from this warehouse, which is set to accepting wheat. Ah, fantastic. Seems like some surplus did shift over to here, so that's going to slow down things a little bit there, but that's fine. Ah, John Nuke Guy just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, John Nuke guy. It's John UK guy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, John UK guy. I called you John Nuke guy. 
Uh, it's probably John UK guy. This is why capitalization is important. <laughs> uh, Januk guy. Everyone welcome Januk guy. He just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Uh, <laughs> but there we go. We're just sorting out the food issue here. Uh, they need schools. So I think I can fit a school right There's the 10 meat. We could probably... F I'm gonna try put a school there and see if the kids walk all the way around. Also, do we have unemployment? No, we're short by 26, actually. We need more people moving in. So we're gonna do that. Get more people moving on down here. We are stockpiling meat over there. Get that house evolved. More weapons coming in. Money's not a problem, you can see that. God's happy, that's fine. Oh, desirability is an issue. I think if I plaza this up, we can afford it and it should evolve these houses. There we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Plenty of food in this market. <clears throat> and the granary is actually full, would you look at that? And you can see some of this wheat is now being brought on over to these warehouses here, which are now a little short on employees. So I think we do have to prioritize this to make sure the warehouses always keep working. And the way this works is a granary will get food from a warehouse if it has more than four units of this wheat. So if I put a granary right here, it'll start getting from all of these warehouses and any place that has surplus of four, well like five or more, then the granary can just go ahead and grab it from there. Shot by 15, yeah we gotta wait for this to move in. Meanwhile we can set up a reservoir. By the way, in case you don't know, here's another reservoir trick. If you click and hold, you actually pull out an aqueduct. But because we want to keep things clean, I'm gonna do this manually. Three, there. And I suppose we might need another one here. Like that. Then we'll loop an aqueduct around this way. We'll just hug the cliff edge. And we could have another aqueduct come round this side. Actually, no. It'd be better if it came through like this. So yeah, we won't have this. That's better. Allowing us to put fountains wherever we need to. Um, if I put it like this... One, two, three, four... It won't actually reach. Oop! Don't mind me, just knocked the mic over. <laughs> so we can do that for aesthetics. Medium statue right in the middle. Some small statues like that. There we go. And that should actually cover... Covers things well. There we go. Got these houses evolved. Population's going up. Unemployment of 11% now. Fantastic. So we're gonna put down a granary right here. Ah, we have enough meat. There we go. So I'm gonna put the granary maybe here. Yeah. Granary right there getting wheat and also as a backup we're gonna put an engineer's post right there and also now we can go ahead and put down a barracks right here because we're going to need some troops to get through those walls that's gonna be important there we go and see this one has more than four units so the granary is getting from there first and there we go. Look, we've, we've exhausted our wheat supply. So I'm just going to let this granary fill up. Because the first feeding is always the hardest thing. So we have to make sure the system 
flows properly first, right? If you don't let the system flow before distributing, things get really messed up. Now, uh, I could, as I like to do, expand my industries. We can go ahead and clear this off. We're going to need... I think we can actually fit some clay pits here. We've got a thousand people. Yes, I can fit two clay pits right there. So we're going to have a road do this and do this. We'll clear this off. Do that. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that road there. And we're going to need houses there. Engineers post there. Raw material, clay pit. Raw material, marble quarry. We spent all of our money. <laughs> uh, we need two warehouses. How do I want to position these warehouses? Warehouse here and here. Actually, no. We should actually shift these things over a little bit. One, two, three. So it's like this. Then we can have warehouse, warehouse. So there's a row of two there for workshops. And this one is going to accept pottery. And this one is going to accept marble. So now, we still have enough employees? Yeah. So now we can start selling other things. There we go. That should stabilize our income. The weapons aren't quite keeping up. Food is coming onto this side. Fantastic. It's January now, so our sales should have just reset. Yes. So we'll sell some weapons soon and get that going. Is it still 4% unemployment? That should allow me to get rid of that. 2% unemployment, okay. So yeah, we're, we're just about keeping up on food here. This is gonna be a little tricky, but it should be fine. Should be fine, right? <clears throat> Maybe start selling weapons to the natives. Yeah, I worry about opening up trade with the natives, because I think they'll come down here and just buy wheat, right? You actually want to set up like a warehouse right here. Um, but yeah, well, money's come back in. Also, we do need to just check here. Risks, native. We have to make sure we set up a road system that will appease all of them. So we need this road coming up like that. To that guy's house. And then we can just clean up some of these roads, I think. If this road does this, and then it does this. We can have this do that. Oh, I forgot to send this. <laughs> there we go. I thought I sent it already. And we can clean this road up a little bit by doing this. And that just goes straight there. There we go. We've straightened the roads. Is that the best way to do things? Probably if I break this and turn this into a kind of a loop. Instead of how it is now. That's probably better. And we'll do this to save space. Actually, we should probably break this road like that. And we can then just put two mission posts. One right next to the chieftain's hut and one right at the end of the road here. And there we go. Uh, 
barbarians. Uh, Euglanius Cenarius. He's like the, the mission briefing guy. He loves the sound of his own voice. Anyway, let's just double check to make sure... Why do you turn around there? Is that walking path really that short? I would have thought it was a little bit further than that. That's the limit? Huh. Well, I guess we're gonna need more then. Uh, like one here. And one there. And we'll just break this road connection. Employees needed? Yeah, I'm not sure how many employees mission posts take. I don't know if they take any. Short by that. Let's check risks. Native. Does that cover everything? I think that does. He only reaches there. This guy only reaches there. This guy comes down. Okay. So there we go. The native population has been satiated. Uh, resources coming in. Pottery and marble has started to come in there. Would you look at that? Which means we can open up this trade route. Yep. And just sell pottery and marble. That puts us into debt. Don't worry about that. Once we sell off these, we'll make our money back. Ah, so do I not need this workshop here? Or is one extra sort of required? Yeah, one ex extra is required for maximum efficiency there. Which probably means I, I need one more workshop here. There we go, selling marble. And pottery. Alright. Population 1,300. The bitter anger of Mars. Ah, oh, guys, you're not spamming Zack gods in chat. No military on this mission. <laughs> guys, you're supposed to spam Zack gods. Uh, so let's put... How do I want to arrange these temples? Yeah, Ceres. Neptune. Mercury and Venus and we can put a temple to Mars down here next to the barracks. There we go. That should appease the gods. This granary is now full so I'm gonna wait for these warehouses to be... Is it full full? Oh it's not full full. How full is full? And we just need more food here. What's our unemployment like? Oh, it's short by nine, actually. It should be fine. Alright, so this is just how much we're selling there. It should be able to keep up with demand, right? 25 units? Huh. Medium statue there. Medium statue there, get those houses evolved. So at least this area here is fed up to small casa. We can put the doctor there, and we can put a market here. Mer Mercury spirited away some of my goods. Probably this stuff, right? Unless we sold it all. Oh no, here. Spirited away some food from this granary. That shouldn't be a problem though. Okay, okay. <laughs> now you guys are spamming Zack Gods in chat. I made that emote for a reason. Use it. Use that emote. Because I always forget the damn gods. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna feed this area here. I'm not sure how if the market lady can cross the whole thing. Probably not. Uh, we probably need a, a second market. This road seems a bit long. But again, I'm not going for efficiency in this playthrough. I'm just showing that you can make blocks look like whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I mean, I could even feed these houses here if I wanted to. Money seems to be holding up at least. There we go, feeding some houses here. How far does the market lady go? Does she actually walk all the way around? No, it's a little short, I think. 
So if I go ahead and put like another market here, what's the mirror version? There. Oh wait, she does walk all the way around. Oh, so if she, she does manage to walk all the way around, then it should be fine. Where did we get all that money from? Jeez, there we go, let's plaza it up. Where did all that money come from? It, oh, it's a new year and we sold a bunch of weapons. <laughs> We've already sold 15 units of weapons, okay. So that funds everything. And now we can start putting down some services. Uh, since we're gonna be using Destination Walker, we could probably put the theater... How do I want to do it? Theater and amphitheater can go right here. And if we have the actor colony... And gladiator school... Right there. We probably do need two schools. But uh, someone asked an interesting question. Can an academy count for education? Um, so, like... You know how we use school and library? Can you use academy and library instead? So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put down a library. There we go, these have all evolved. Need basic educational facilities, so a library should count rather than using a school, because the school can be very fiddly. Because the school children run in all sorts of directions. <laughs> uh, we fed the area, and the market still has food, okay. Food seems to be keeping up. As long as we don't put too many houses down, it'll be okay. Shot by seven employees. So a librarian does count, and I think they do manage to walk all the way around this X block. Yeah, this block is not too big. Alright, I'm very happy with the, the design of this block. There we go, got those evolved. I probably need one more workshop here. Workshop. Pottery. Like there. Can I get those houses evolved? get some of them evolved. Okay. So, we have infinite money now. <coughs> I'm not sure if we should up our... Actually, no, there's no room there. Uh, I could actually up my marble production if I so desired. Uh, raw material. Marble quarry. Okay. The meat production should be fine. Oh, do those cliffs not count? Oh, these cliffs don't count, huh? Alright, they'll have to be there. Oh. I hate it when that happens. Oh, does that reservoir actually reach? Oh, we don't need this. Um... <laughs> um I hate it when... You block the road to Rome, and then it deletes some of your aqueducts. I hate it when it does that. Jeez, come on. I know that blocked the road to Rome, but just delete this. I know we've got to get rid of some of these trees. There. Uh, raw material, marble quarry. Do not have a connecting road on the back, please. There we go. Boost up our marble production just a little bit. That means we should be able to sell 15 units. 21, 25. Uh, that should hold up. Okay. Is food still being distributed here? Oh, we ran out of food a little bit. That's because we are a little low, actually. If I just set this to accepting for now, rather than getting, let some food flow over to this side. 
That should be okay. Okay, okay. So some of these houses... Yeah. Some of these houses are devolving. Not too big of an issue. We still have unemployment, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah. We have enough warehouses. We don't have enough food stocked up here. Wait, why are these... going straight into the granary? Oh, I see. That is a problem. I gotta break this road connection. And have warehouses here. <laughs> right. The farms were prioritizing the granary over the warehouse. I did not realize. So we're gonna break that road connection. So the farms are not actually connected to the granary. And we're gonna do the warehouse trick. There we go, there we go. I didn't even realize that was happening. I didn't even realize. <laughs> there we go, problem solved. Is employment around here okay? Yeah, we can break that road, break that road. Shorten that road a little bit. Makes things easier. We'll leave that empty, okay. So now more food should be coming over to this side. I didn't realize the, the farms were actually delivering straight to the granary, not to the warehouse. Because of course they prioritize, they prioritize uh, granaries. So now we can set this to getting wheat. We can set this to getting wheat. We only need two here because it's much closer, and then this granary here can get wheat out of these two warehouses. There we go. Employees needed. Okay, yeah, we lost some food here. This is not a distance problem, this is a mismanagement problem. <laughs> it's my fault, I, I, I did it wrongly. There we go. Food's being stocked up here. See, plenty of food is being produced. It's just they were walking too far. This farm, if it walks to the granary, it's way too far. Uh, and then these farms are stuck at like 100%. And if farms are stuck at 100%, then uh, it becomes a problem. And Clerken is using the Zack God's emote. Gods are, gods are pleased. Gods are pleased. That's fine. So there we go. Food's being dropped up here. And you can see the food is now distributed into the granary again. Anything over four units gets sent to the granary, and then they'll go grab more. And there. Food is starting to come back to this side. Okay, we just have to let this run for a little bit. 500 units there. I think I'll just... hold off a little bit here. to make sure enough food does go over here first. Okay, yeah. Ah! Gotta be careful about that. Uh, money, money, right, we're so high on money. Let's just get a fort of javelins. There we go. So then we can bring the javelins over this side, we could kill the wolves, and then we'll be good to go on to expanding onto this side. Ah. There we go, wheat stockpiling. Is this one? No, even, th see, this farm is now not getting stuck at 100%. You gotta make sure thing, like, the distribution from the production facility to the storage facility is not too far. So when they drop off stuff drop stuff off there, you can see it just hit 50%, so distance is perfect. As soon as the, the cart pusher reaches this farm again, he can send out another unit of food. That's to make sure there's enough food in the system. So he just came back, and he's off again, perfect. Military academy? You do not need a military academy to kill wolves. <laughs> you don't need a military academy to kill wolves. There, food is stockpiling. Is this market struggling to keep up? It's okay for now. There. 
now I think we can set these back to getting. Since these warehouses just took their fill. Oh, one warehouse is a bit short, I see. And look, the houses have re-evolved, except for a couple. <laughs> It'll eventually work itself out. Yeah, we do have to... ...prioritize that right area for now. Because this market... Oh, this market ran out of food as well. Because this is basically going through another first feeding. Like 300 units of wheat. 800 in the market? Okay. Now we're good, now we're good. Yeah, we can actually set these to getting. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So that's gonna be that. Do we have some soldiers? Oh, look at that. Just waiting for a few more. We probably don't need that many, right? We'll wait for a full battalion anyway. There we go. Let's bring you guys over here. And we can start killing these wolves. I think we can shoot them from across the river, right? It's July now. Are we selling enough pottery and marble? I think we're selling enough uh, marble, but not pottery. I don't think you can fit another clay pit here, right? You can only fit two. Oh, there we go. We're shooting the wolves. They're getting a bit flustered here. There's another set of wolves somewhere over here, right? Or are those all the wolves grouped up together? Ah, oh, that's gonna be a little tricky. Let's just put them here, and we're gonna put a low bridge crossing on over. All right, come on, wolves. Oh, they're trying to kill the missionaries. They've been angered, but they can't actually kill the missionaries. Missionaries can't be killed. Come on, attack the javelineers. Oh, there, there they are. The other group of wolves are right here. And they're gonna try cross the bridge, but they're not gonna be able to do it. There we go. <laughs> JS says, missionaries have the protection of the Zack gods. As in the emote Zack gods. Alright, let's get all these wolves out of the way so we don't have to worry about them anymore. It's the last hurdle to crossing over to this side. Couple wolves left. Three, I think. One more. He's been hunting this guy. Catch him there. And that should be the final wolf. Return to fort. We actually don't need... We don't need these soldiers anymore, but we'll keep them on hand just in case. How's food looking? Look at that, this area filled up with food. Wow, okay. We're just grabbing more food over to this side. The market lady's getting their share. Okay, this housing area is back on track. Yeah, road connections are terrible. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so now we have opened up this area and I think that just opens up phase two of this whole mission, really. All right, that's gonna be the end of phase one of Lugdunum. Hope you enjoyed it. And in the next video, we're gonna go into phase two and phase two is gonna be crossing that river and establishing the second half of the city and accessing all that farmland. Just click the button on the screen right now and it'll take you to part two. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.